Donald Trump is not backing down, talking again and again about retribution against his political enemies if he's reelected. After saying earlier in the week that it's very possible it's going to have to happen, here's what he said at two different appearances yesterday. I know a lot of Republicans who want retribution. They want to do that. Uh, we're going to see what happens. People are claiming you want retribution. People are claiming you want what has happened to you done to Democrats. Would you do that ever? Look, what's happened to me has never happened in this country before. And it has to stop because... Wait a minute. It, I want to hear that again. It has to stop. Well, it does have to stop because we're not going to have a country... And if you're anymore. elected, what does that mean to find that? Look... What I've gone through, nobody's ever gone through. Uh, I'm a very legitimate person. I built a great business. Based on what they've done, I would have every right to go after them. Back with us is Brendan Buck. Uh, Brendan, thanks for sticking around. Uh, what Donald Trump obviously wouldn't say to Sean Hannity is what retribution would look like. Some supporters have suggested that phrase is just hyperbole, but I want to read to you what Ruth Marcus wrote in the Washington Post. This is so unhinged, it is tempting to ignore it as overheated bloviating. That would be a mistake. The individuals inciting this prosecution as payback approach sit at Trump's elbow, and they appear incapable of grasping the essential flaw in their reasoning, that even assuming the basis partisan motives on the part of Trump's pursuers, the proper response is to retaliate in kind. Do you think these threats are being underestimated? 2016, I guess it was, uh, uh, the lock her up chant, I always took as a, a bit of a gag and just something that Trump said because it got a rise out of the crowd, and I think, frankly, the crowd thought it was a bit of a, a gag. I think right now there are people close to Donald Trump who are dead serious that they should use legal action to go after uh, Democrats or enemies of, of the president. Um, you can't go anywhere in, in Republican gatherings these days and not hear the word lawfare. That wasn't a word that was ever used in Republican circles until very, very recently, but now it is a hot topic, using the legal system to go after people. Now, whether or not Donald Trump would actually follow through on that, I don't know whether or not they would actually be successful in being able to do that. You know, this is we still have a lot of systems in place to guard against abuse. Um, but you can ruin a lot of people's lives just by bringing suit or charges or something that end up going nowhere. So I think this is a very real thing. And I think there's a lot of Republicans, um, at least ones who are close to Donald Trump, who take this stuff very seriously. There was a New York Times Siena College recontact poll. It shows a slight shift toward Joe Biden after Trump's guilty verdict. Before the verdict, it was Trump over Biden by three percentage points after his lead shrunk to one point with those same voters. It's in line with other recent national polls, although we should note this recontact poll isn't necessarily representative of the electorate because there's no margin of error. But does it surprise you at all there hasn't been a bigger shift? Or does this show that a guilty verdict was, I don't know, maybe already baked in with voters? Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, what, what we're seeing is this clearly hasn't been the political earthquake that maybe some Democrats had hoped it would be. Um, and I don't know why you would ever think anything is going to be an earthquake right now, because we're just so dug in on, on where we are. You hear some people will say that, well, it, it will actually be the sentencing if, if that's going to really shake things. I, I don't know how many times we have to wait for the next thing that's going to change things. I think people are pretty dug in. But your, your, your point is the right one. People know that Donald Trump uh, has, has questionable character and, and, and does shady things. That doesn't surprise anybody. So this was, I think for most people, just a, a reaffirmation of what they already under, understood about him. Now, I do think the, Demo, uh, the, the Biden campaign did not do a very good job taking advantage of this situation. I mean, this is a, a huge vulnerability, but a vulnerability only matters if someone is going to try to take advantage of it. And they clearly did not do that. The, pre the Democratic uh, campaign apparatus that largely stayed quiet the entire time. And the, 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 we, we heard all about the, the fury they were going to bring after the conviction or potential conviction. It just hasn't really come forward. And I think that tells us they don't think this is going to be a big deal. Well, the DNC is going on the attack, but uh, just right now in the battleground state of Arizona, they launched a billboard campaign in Phoenix. It reads, you can see it here on the screen, Trump already attacked Arizona's democracy once. Now he's back as a convicted felon. It's the first time we've seen them lean into that phrase. 
Do you think, uh, and, and I should say, and we saw it there, they also called him unhinged, which we've heard before, uh, and apparently is a word that the president used behind closed doors at a fundraiser, but is that what they need to do, or will that make a difference? Yeah, I, look, anytime somebody's doing a billboard, they're doing it for earned media, not because they think that's actually going to move voters. Um, I think the Democratic uh, Campaign Committee lost this, and I, I, I separate them from the, the president. I understand the president needs to sort of stay out of legal matters. But I think they lost this debate months ago when they decided to kind of take a pass, sit back, and let Donald Trump uh, describe the nature of this uh, prosecution. I mean, there for so many people... He has flooded the zone and explained to them that, in, in his view, this is illegitimate and that they were out to get him. And Democrats largely let those charges go unanswered. And so this is a, feels a little bit too little too late. And maybe they just don't think it matters. And I don't necessarily disagree. Um, you know, the economy and immigration are going to be much more important issues. But it just feels so, uh, it's just a missed opportunity to at least try to take a shot at this. And, and this feels like it, they're just going through the motions at this point. Yeah, for somebody who uh, was under a gag order throughout his trial, um, he spoke every day, and those were exactly the messages that he put out there. So in retrospect, maybe people will look at it, but this is where we are now. Brendan Buck, thank you so much. Always good to have you on the program.